This is Calvin Castine. It's the eighth day of November 2003. We're at the frigid soccer field in beautiful downtown Pickett's Corners at Saranac Central School for a regional competition against from the Featuring the uh, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jersey Central Welcome Rural School Saturday. Eagles, 21-1-0 and on the, the season. And the Eagles of Chase <coughs> Now for the players for tonight's game. For the Colton Pierpont Colt. Number two, Tom Hoyt. Number four, Nathan Campbell. Number six, Alex Williamson. Number 15, James Seymour. Number 16, Aaron Johnson. Number 17, Tyler Weston. Number 18, Tom Embry. Number 19, Nathan Thomas. Number 21, Roy Thomas. And now for your starter. Number 1, Eli Widrick. Number 7, Lawrence Cook. Number 8, Michael Bono. Number 9, Jason Whalen. Goalkeeper, Shane Chapman. Number 11, Mark Baker. Number 12, Trevor Wood. Number 13, Nick Bicknell. Number 20, Matt Thomas. Number 22, Jeremy Dunning. Number 23, Josh Perry. Coach are coached by Mr. Rod Thomas, assisted by Chris Whalen. Now, for the KZ Eagles. Number 23, Nolan Ryan. Number 1, Jacob Spiegel. Number 12, Sam Meehan. Number 13, Nathan Briette. Number 22, Brandon Trombley. Number 18, Nick Spray. Number 21, Chris Warren. Number 16, Kyle Baker. Number 20, James Wilson. Number 15, Charles Pine. Number 6, Mark Nevada. Number 17, Tunga Mandalu. Number 24, Chris Misek. Goalkeeper, Sean Martin. Now for your starter, goalkeeper, Jeff Kaiwanda. Number three, Pat Bailey. Number eight, Jordan Spiegel. Number ten, John Bell. Number five, Josh Frederick. Number four, Joel Warren. Number nine, Corey Lewis. Number seven, Jonathan Gay. Number 11, Zach Pirro. Number 25, Justin Seymour. Number 14, Nathan Russell. The Eagles are coached by Rob McCollis, assisted by Tim Mulligan, and Tom Brandell. The officials tonight are Mr. Revive, Mr. Prey, and Mr. Labarge. Would everyone please rise to the playing of our national anthem.
starting to say before I was drowned out by the PA system. Jay-Z 21, 0, and 0. 21 wins, no losses, no ties against Colton Pierpont. Colton Pierpont coming in here 11, 6, and 1. They were seated number 6 in the Class D competition in Section 10. Yet they defeated the, the teams uh, they needed to get here. Shazy has uh, scored 106 goals this year, allowing just 11. 106 to 11 on the offense compared to the defense. Temperature is about 25 to 26 degrees with a severe wind chill. I am going to attempt to do this game. If it gets too darn cold, then I'm not going to stay here. Uh, a booth that uh, blocks the wind oh, up at Seton. It was Shazdy's decision to play here, and one of the hazards of playing here is the fact that uh, if the weather is too inclement, I'm out of here. I taped the Shazdy boys the other night in their previous game, and uh, after that game, I was up here, and after that game, Seton was due to play, and it started to rain. You got it, Pat. You got it. So I left. There's no place to get in out of the wind or out of the rain here at uh, Saranac Field. <laughs> Lauren will put it back in play. They have three officials in today's game, as they did in the previous round. The man in the middle is the referee, and the men on the sides are the flagmen. Looks like Jamie Labarge is the ref. The flagmen are Kevin Prey and Ron Rivard. Lewis sends it through. Offsides, I guess. The Channel 5 uh, cameraman is going to stand right in front of me. And always being joined by some photographer. I don't feel like standing out there. That's I'm near the booth. The wind is blocked a little bit here. So if we miss some action, we miss some action. They could stand back a ways and not block the. That's Kenny Drake from Channel Five. They could stand back here and not block the view of the fans, but. They get where they get, and I get where I get. I'll, I'll put back in play by Lauren. Gay kicks it up. Uh, Seymour sends it up for Frederick. Good thing Shazy didn't score. And Kenny Drake was shooting the uh, fans. Ball still in play. Frederick gets back to his feet, and he's called for dangerous. The weather here reminds me a lot of a game we taped featuring Shazy and Newcomb. Uh, George, George Brendler will, will remember it, uh, as will Janet Brendler. And uh, the Kilmans and the Kaufman, <laughs> the Kilmans and the uh, McAuliffe's and the Gondeks. All those folks that were involved on the top of Lake Placid, in either 86 or 87. A playoff game and it was just as cold if not colder there than it is today and the big problem uh, is trying to keep the fingers warm can't put my hands in my pocket and run the camera uh, it's a big uh, one of the biggest problems we have out taping out here White throw. There's another game to follow. And that one I'm playing by ear as the rest of this game will be played by ear. Uh, I may or may not tape the Seton game. And I may or may not tape all this game. <clears throat> Bailey tries to clear it. No 
gonna be a corner kick. We are right next to the frozen fans from Shay Z. throw the Colts, Colton, Pierpont, Colts, and the Shazy Eagles. Winner advances to the final four. According to what I read in the newspaper, the Eagles have been there four times already under Coach McAuliffe. It sounds like an awful lot, but they have played very well. Krawanzik with a punt. He's sitting on 61 shutouts in his high school career. All-time state record for career shutouts by a goalie. And uh, obviously he'd like to pick up 62 today. And it is possible to pick up 62 today and still lose the game because if they go to a I go to a shootout. Could have a scoreless game going to a shootout, and then the, the shootout, uh, the goals wouldn't count. So it'd be a shutout and a loss. That's if it's a scoreless tie. Frederick sends it up. Yes, Josh! Bailey sends it down. Lewis. Lewis sends it up to Frederick. There's the goal kick. Stopped by Lewis. throw. Another throw for Colton. Rowanzik will pick it up. Punts it out. Much to the Shazy fans' dismay, it was a white push called. Headed by Lewis. Rowanzik will take the goal kick. He can find a flat spot on the ground. Gay, Jonathan Gay, sneaks in there, Shay-Z leads, 1-0. Jonathan Gay with the goal. Jonathan Gay from Joel Lauren. So the Gay family well represented with that goal. Joel's grandmother is a gay. Sister of Jonathan's grandfather. Do it! 
A little over 25 to play in the first half. Shazy draws first blood. They lead 1 0. Shazy goal by Jonathan Gay, number 7. Assisted by number 4, Joel Warren. Colton throw. Lewis heads it out. Headed by Gay. Put it up, boys. Come on. Spiegel throws it in. Over for the far side. Lauren. They have put the windows on that. It's like a, uh, a glass. Uh, oh. Glass house over there. A the hot house over there on the far side. Those booths that they have for the players, and we haven't seen the players use them. Maybe they do it when, when it rains. A day like day, I'd be inside if I wasn't going to be playing at all or much. So if you want to find me, coach, I'll be inside, staying warm. Run, I'll get him. <clears throat> it actually, the player would be looser when he went in if he was inside out of the cold. You get somebody standing uh, frigid for half an hour, then send him in the game. It would be better if they were in a nice warm area and come out and start running. They'll be already warmed up. Lewis with the head. Frederick. Way to go, way to go. He played the ball. He played the ball. Come on, he went in the ball. Call goes against Chasey. Colts will put it back in play. Here you go, Charlie. Good ball. Blue throw. Blue push called. Okay, passing up for Frederick. Now Lewis intercepts. He's not happy with that one. Looks like Lewis had all ball. Maybe when I look at the replay, I'll figure out what the <laughs> what happened, but Karwanzik with the goal kick. Gay <coughs> sends it up to midfield. Looks like uh, Ryan is in. Spiegel looking for Seymour. Off blue, red throw, a white throw. Lewis over there watches it go out. <coughs> Colton with mass substitutions. About six players coming in. Here's Seymour. Up to Frederick. Frederick sends the ball up. Frederick of the kick. Kick back by the Colts. Uh, sent back by uh, Spiegel. Right throw. Seymour sends it up. 
Ryan controls. Ryan puts it in the air. of the 18. The ball did not come out of the box. It was right at the edge, though. So. Once the ball's out of that box, the goalie is just like anybody else. He's got to play it. Play it like anybody else would. He can't pick it up. Control the game, boy. Nice kick. Warren. Just missing. Card coming up looks like uh, let's see who it's on here. Colton player. Come on, White. Unsportsmanlike. Lauren will put it back in play. Offside. There's a the goal kick. Headed by Lewis. Seymour off blue. Seymour's throw goes awry. Take the gloves off. There's somebody telling him to take the gloves off. It makes it difficult to throw when wearing the gloves. Lewis throws it in. Headed by Lauren. Cleared before Frederick can get to it. Lewis will throw it again. About 15-15. Raining in the first half. Lauren. Frederick. Now, whenever the press Republican reporters are here, they're always out of the way of the fans. These guys here are just stand right in front of everybody. There's a corner kick. When I said it was 15-15, it was 18-15. Just read the clock. It's a little over 17 minutes remaining right now. Goal kick for the Colts. For Lewis. God, collect the ball. Blue throw. 16 22 on the clock. Come on, 
one nothing Shay-Z leads. Regional competition. Winner advances to the state's final four competition. Carl goes against Lewis. He leaves his feet a lot. We'll put it in play. Pick it up, Shazy. Okay, Keeper comes out, gets there before Ryan can. Off Russell's kick now. Bailey sends it. Come on, Keeper again comes out to the 18 to pick it up. Russell. Warren has it taken away from him. Now Lewis. The 18. Yeah. Right. Get up. Come on, guys. Go get the ball. Go get the ball! Seymour <laughs> with a throw into Ryan. Into the box. Russell goes wide with it. Just give it away, boys. Come on. In the air. Ball comes to Gay. Come on, Josh. Up to the corner. Come on, Josh. Up to Frederick. About 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Come on, guys! Come on! Flagman 
As some subs coming in, the flagman can call those with the referees. Uh, referee uh, asking them. Calm down. Fifty remaining. In the play, headed by Lauren, headed by Russell. with this three-man system while the refs are all visiting together there's a, a fight brewing and there are not, none of them are, are watching what's going on in the field I'm not impressed with this three-man system uh, make their calls and they shouldn't be conferring you don't see that kind of conferring very often in a two-man system Seymour trying to work the ball. He's out. It's his second yellow card. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That's two at the red. See if they'll let him be replaced. It's a red card, second yellow. Now well, he's going to go and destroy the. Uh, well, that's it. Destroy the booth in there. That's good. They should be thrown out the field. Let's watch them do that. <coughs> the refs should not put up with that. He should be thrown right out of the, off the field. He can't go to the bench and start to carrying on that way. I'm going to call it a soft red so they can substitute and keep playing with the, the 10 men and the goalie. But uh, the refs should not have allowed what went on inside that uh, dugout over there to, to happen and allow that player to stay there. He should be out of the area. He should be gone, set in the, set in the bus, have a bus driver supervise him or something, but he should be out of there. Somebody's in there with him. Right. 
Purple kick, we have uh, 627 remaining in the first half. Handball. Frederick. Okay. Get the shot and then stop by the keeper. Stop by Lewis. Warren up for Frederick. It's in. As he leads two nothing. I believe it was Ryan from Frederick. 405 on the clock when it happened. Scored by number 23, Nolan Ryan. Assisted by number five, Josh Frederick. All goes against uh, Colton Pierpont. See we're right in the middle of the Shazy here, right in the heart of downtown Shazy, at least fan-wise. Unfortunately, we're in the downtown Pickett's Corners. Purple kick. Rowanzik makes the stop. Trying to get my fingers warm. All the time. Frederick. Frederick shoots. Jay-Z is looking like a final four team here. Looks like they'll be joining the Shay-Z girls in the final four if they continue at this rate. It's three nothing Eagles. So, scored by number five, Josh Frederick, assisted by number 23, Nolan Ryan. Frederick from Ryan. Lauren in the air. Balls way out. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Lauren will throw it in. Uh, Two oh six to go in the half. Shazy up three nothing. Seymour with the ball. Oh, 
20 seconds. White throw. Picking up in the second half. They have switched ends. And uh, took a few minutes to go warm up, and boy, it feels a lot better after a few minutes out of the wind, wind and the cold. And Karanzik makes the stop. Close to losing his shutout right there. But the, the Colton player miskicked. We missed a couple minutes of the second half. We we're still in our car when the uh, period began. Lauren brings it down. Come on. Come on. The call goes against Lauren. Blue kick. Headed oh, by Lewis. So. Perrow gets a foot on it. Bailey sends it. Perrow throws it in. Here comes Colton again. Three nothing is a comfortable lead, but the game is certainly not over. You gotta figure if you can score three and a half, they can score three. So if you're Shazy, you don't want to start to get in your bus tickets just yet for the final four. Souvenir for a lucky fan. They throw it back. Take that, Boucher! play. What? Oh, what? Goes against Lewis. Jamie Lavar just forgot which way he was heading. Oh, come on. Lewis, so uh, be cautioned. No card. 
No card, it wasn't a flagrant bump. Lewis chips it. Shot is saved by the keeper. There's the punt. About 31 and a half. Go, go, you stay away! Come on, sir! Come on, Jordan! Nice, Go, send it up to Lauren, to uh, Ryan. Keeper will pick it up. We're going to switch batteries. There's the ball. There we go. Now a fresh battery in. Hopefully it'll take us through the rest of this game. And I sincerely doubt if I'll be doing the Seton Catholic game. Right now the wind is starting to blow again. Looks like I may have switched directions a bit. his way through with it. Trying to break it up now. Spiegel back. Shot is wide. 28-20. 3 nothing. Shazy leads in the second half. Section 7 versus Section 10, but this is a state quarter final. The winner goes to the final four. This is for the Capital District Region Championship. And we'll get the plaque and go to the final four to look for the state title. Shazy boys, if they win this, will join the Shazy girls who already have won that right. Peril fighting hard. <laughs> Lewis, uh, <laughs> out of control sometimes. The Jay-Z fans can't understand it, but <laughs> he leaves his feet a lot and is uh, aggressive, aggressive soccer player. And once in a while, he gets a little out of control. Nothing flagrant, but. Blue hole called. Bailey with the chest. Spiegel to Farrell. See what happens. And we got a card on a eagle. Seymour. Seymour gets a card for Jay Z. Uh, 
we didn't see it. All we saw was Kenny Drake. Yeah. We're trying to stay here out of view. You know, not blocking the fans' view. They paid five bucks to get in here. Three bucks for a kid's ticket. Figure if a family of four comes, that's twenty-six. Uh, excuse me, sixteen dollars that they paid. About 26 minutes remaining in the second half. Okay, well the girls are going to be disappointed that they're not on the same budget as last year. Come on, Joel! <laughs> 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 Come on, Joel! 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 Come Run in by Bell. Lauren kicks it in the air. It's probably gay on the far side. It is indeed gay. He scored the first goal. And the first goal just might be the game winner. Ryan got the second and Frederick the third. Shazy stands 21-0-0. 21 wins. No losses. No ties this year. And of course, unless you win the state championship or don't get in the playoffs. You always went, always end the previous year with a loss. Only the state champion gets the end the season with a win. Unless, of course, you don't get in the playoffs, which would be silly, but sometimes teams don't. So we know she's he's got a 21 game winning streak going. Just missing on the corner kick. All right, let's see, let's see, 12 is in for Shay Z. 12 is Sam Meehan. There's Perro. Perro fights his way through. That's picked up by the Colts. Thrown in by Spiegel to Meehan. Ball's on. Lauren back to help out. That ball looked like it was gone. Late call. 22 seconds. 22, seconds, 22 minutes remaining in the second half. Corner kick. Corner kick. Colton throw. Chase it! Go get it! Go take Come on, Mike! Right. Chase that ball! I want to remind the Shazy viewers there's a trip. There's nothing called is Spiegel in. Uh, this is viewer supported television. We appreciate this coverage. We appreciate this coverage. We need your support. Actually, even if you don't appreciate this coverage, we could use your support, but if you're watching this, you probably appreciate the coverage, so... Let go, Joe! Roland Zek makes the stop. So why not join our list of viewer supporters? That's the only time we get paid is... And we get a, an advertising dollar, which we don't have a lot of advertisers. Or we get a viewer to... Send us a contribution. Spiegel puts it in the air. We actually pay Time Warner to, to use channel 24 
So they're not paying us by any means. Ryan with the throw. Headed back out. Ryan chests it. Goes to Lewis. Lewis will throw it in. Uh, if you're joining us late, we're in beautiful downtown Pickett's, it's Pickett's Corners in Saranac School. <laughs> and even if you're not joining us late, we're still at beautiful downtown Pickett's Corners at the Saranac School. This is quarterfinal competition, class D level for New York State. Winner advances to the final four. Jay-Z, from what we've read in the paper, would be going there for the fifth time. Almost in. Nice cross by Ryan, and it was Spiegel who almost popped it in. Uh, fifth time under the direction of uh, Coach Rob McAuliffe, according to what we read in the paper. I didn't think he'd coach that many years to, to have four trips already, but. Let's see another card. You got away with murder there, buddy. That might be his second. A little over 18 minutes remaining. Lauren, nice kick on the restart. Spiegel kicks up to Lauren. Carroll. Gay. To Lewis. Take it back, Corey. That's the way. Ball stayed in, Lewis passes, and Ryan with the shot. Perrow was there if the keeper had mishandled it. Headed. Headed again. Bring it down, bring it down. Temperature in the mid 20s. It's supposed to be a lunar eclipse tonight. And if we stayed out here, we could catch it during the Seton Catholic game, but we'll catch it at home. It's too cold to come out here for two games. Send it, send it. Send it. Send it. Spiegel up for, for uh, Ryan, but the keeper gets there. Headed by Lewis. Seton Catholic playing Potsdam after this one. And the winner of that will go to the final four representing the Class C, or Class C representative from the, from the region. Lawrence sends it down. All stopped, sent back. Bailey calls for it. Eighth grader looking to move in there. Zach Perro. Perro will take the corner kick. Lauren trying to control it. Sends it through. Keeper picks it up. Shoot it. Play on your 
<laughs> that that's a bell. Just under fourteen minutes remaining in the second half. Three nothing, Shazy, all three goals in the first half. Lauren tripped. Gay, Hassan. Somebody got to get there. Lewis. And the keeper will lose his hat. He was out. 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 The handball. Carried it. Caught it out of the box. Lauren will put it in play. Less than 12 remaining in the second half. Lauren will put it in play. Lauren again will take the kick. Be a goal kick. They can't handle that. They'll lose the area. Spiegel picked up by the keeper. He'll bring it out to the 18 and he'll punt it. Push it, Russ! Push it! Lauren with the kick. And he picked up by the Colts keeper. Off Lauren's head, but takes a Colton Pierre Pomp bounce, kicked by Bailey. <laughs> Bell working it up, his way for Spiegel, taken away by Colton Pierre Pomp. They keep control of the ball. They're looking to, at this point, just avoid the shutout. Your throw to Lauren. some uh, bad news for the Shazy Lions Club. Their annual turkey night is November 15th. Everybody in Shazy is going to be at the uh, state playoffs. The girls team and the boys teams will be in different locations, but 
Everybody in Shazy will be at the state playoffs. Shazy Lions Club will be sitting there at the weathercock and saying, where's everybody? Where's everybody? About seven and a half minutes remaining in the second half. Take the free kick following the handball. Get another goal, boys! Come on! One more! Lewis back in the game for the Eagles. Call goes against Peril. Sends it down. Ryan. Spiegel will put it in play. No, Lauren will put it in play. Headed in. the assist. And it's 4 nothing, Shazy. Alright, we already know it's Ryan from Lauren. 4 nothing, Shazy. 6 uh, 40 something. Goal, by number 23, Nolan Ryan. Assisted by number 4, Joel Lawrence. No, no, no. Joel. Let's see. I'm trying to remember who 13 is. 13 is Nathan Briat. Wide. Leon giving chase. Purple throw. Subs coming in. Oh, purple. Thrown in by Briette. Stopped by Ryan. Jipped up toward the front line. Spiegel gets there. Some four minutes remaining. Three thirty-three and counting. Ryan to Spiegel. There are two Spiegels, Jordan and Jacob. Jacob one, Jordan eight. That's uh, Route 3 traffic we see in the background. There's the corner kick. Spiegel. Let's see, 24 is Misek. He goes at this point, just want to preserve that shutout. Just... 
That obviously ought to be a red card. It is. It is. He will not be replaced. Exactly two minutes on the clock. Colton Pierpont will play a man down for the final two minutes. Spiegel puts it in play. Meehan throws it in. Spiegel back to Meehan. Ball goes against me and Colts will put it in play. Spiegel gets a foot on it. No charge. Call goes against Brayat. About 45 seconds remaining. going to the final four once again for the 4 nothing convincing victory over Colton Pierrepont uh, Jeff Krawanzik 62 career shutouts he's now broken Babe Ruth and Roger Maris's record both of them This uh, handshake isn't always the best idea. You could just done a, a tough game. You uh, Karanzik <laughs> leaving his team behind here. Jay Z boys aren't hardly moving. Letting Colton Pierpont come to them, but yeah, always a little fear of somebody starting something in the handshake. The refs normally aren't uh, worried about the handshake, but they're watching it closely tonight. There'll be a presentation of a trophy to Shazies. We'll stick around for that. McAuliffe already had the he said I already presented myself with the trophy before the game Rob is the sectional chairman and he said I'll make this presentation myself Captain from Shazy please step forward congratulations to the Shazy Eagle for winning the 2003-2004 Class B Regional they will advance to the final four this Saturday and Sunday in Oneonta. So that's it.
A double. <laughs> Nobody wants to kiss the Blarney Stone here. A double victory day for Shazy. Our congratulations to the boys and for the girls for their earlier win. Thanks for watching and for those of you who think enough of Hometown Cable's efforts to support to support us. Uh, viewer supported local television coming at you tonight from beautiful downtown Pickett's Corners. Our apologies to the Seton Catholic fans, but it's just too darn cold out here to stay out here for two games.